Good morning, Laura. How are you today? Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I'm well. And thank you and, and um, all of you senators for your patience and for your attention um, last evening as well as this morning. Um, it has been as equally phenomenal as the attention and passion of both supporters and opponents on both of the bills that you have before you. And my name is Laura Pizzatoro, and uh, I am the not as better half as Maria Taco, but proud to sit here with her. I also live on Apple Tree Lane in Warwick, Rhode Island. And I think uh, Matthew Lannon, who at the young age of 12 hit the nail on the head when he said, it's important that you not just hear about us, but that you hear from us. From where we sit, we certainly encourage and seek your support of the Marriage Equality Bill 38. There is no doubting its importance among all of the bills that you will hear in this legislative session. But we also make a plea tonight, and I would like to speak to the referendum bill, what I will refer to as the referendum bill, Senate Bill 708. Notwithstanding whether your position is yay or nay on marriage equality. We both value very strongly having meaningful input in our legislative process, but believe fervently that it would be a mistake. It would be wrong to allow the majority to vote on the civil rights of a minority. We believe it would be doubly wrong to promote and legislate discrimination against that minority in an attempt to put a referendum before voters under the guise of a democratic process. Where the marriage equality bill takes into account religious liberty and preserves the rights of all religions not to marry gay couples, the referendum bill, among other things, allows any small business, regardless of religious connection or not, to refuse to serve as gay couples who seek to marry and it rolls back existing and important and needed anti-discrimination laws that we have in Rhode Island. And frankly, an anti-discrimination law that so many of us, and I believe you included, are proud of and should be proud of. It is one thing to respect religious liberties, and it is another to proactively carve out expansive exemptions to Rhode Island's public policy against discrimination. It is difficult to come back year after year. We've only been coming back for nine years. There are others who have been coming back for 15 years. It's difficult to hear that we are abominations. It is so difficult to hear that we are a cancer because of our committed love for one another. We have also heard questions that suggest some of you may be, may want to learn how to protect non-religious entities, even public officials, who may want to violate their public oath not to discriminate and carve out exemptions for them. And I'm not sure which is worse to hear that I'm an abomination and that my love for Maria and my commitment to Maria is a cancer, or that it's important for us to protect justices of the peace who swear an oath to uphold not just the constitution of our state and our federal government, but to meet out our laws equally and justly. I ask that you not find a painstaking way to carve out injustice. Do not seek the path of least resistance because you, as you know full well in your capacities as senators, as public officials, you are not going to please everyone. You just aren't. You won't please everyone on an environmental bill. You will not please everyone on an economic bill. You will not please everyone on any bill, including whether or not calamari should be the appetizer of the state of Rhode Island. You won't. Every day that you come here, 
And we are grateful that you come here every day. We thank you for your service. Every day that you come here, we know you have a difficult task. But I ask you to take that task as seriously as ever as you consider this bill because the discourse on this bill and the discussion on this bill is so different than any other bill that you discuss among your peers, whether it's on the floor or in the chamber or in committee meetings. And whether you, like me, believe that the marriage equality bill, on the other hand, does strike a symbiotic chord with the struggles of immigrants who, like my father, came to this country, or those of black civil rights, the discriminatory carve-outs of the referendum bill, Senate Bill 708, do hearken to those dark days, and they should not be part of this legislature's goal of moving us forward. Move the needle on our economy? Great. Improve education for all students? Phenomenal. But take an up or down vote on marriage equality without horse trading, without compromise, without seeking to please everyone. We value you, we value your opinion. All of us respect your opinion. We know that it's not, it's not the same as ours. Not all of it, not all of yours. And that's okay with us. Thank you for your time and courtesy. Are there any questions or comments? Senator Lombardi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I just have a comment, Laura, and I, 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 I applaud the way you um, squared the issue, and I appreciate that because I think that there's entirely too much. I don't have standing to judge anyone, and this isn't anything about judging anyone, and I think I said that at the beginning. When you use words like foes and enemies, both sides, that's wrong. I certainly don't have the standing to judge anyone in anyone's lifestyle, nor will I ever do that. Uh, and conversely, you know, uh, I think that there's already been a blog put out there that I did an interview with a guy that hates gays and lesbians. I, I, I don't. I have many, many, many friends about that. So I, I, I agree with you when you square that issue. This is about philosophical differences. It's about what you believe to be right or wrong and what you believe to be the true area of law, rule of law, as my colleague, Mr. Uh, uh, Hodgkin, Senator Hodgkin said. And, and, and I think that that's, that's where, it, uh, that, that's where it, it comes down, and I applaud you for that. And, and I don't want anyone on this committee or anyone looking at this committee to think that this is about hatred or distrust or dislike of any group or judgment of any group, and conversely, uh, the flip side of that, and I thank you for squaring the issue that way. Thank you, Senator Lombardi. Senator Hodgson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to welcome uh, each of these uh, uh, witnesses. Uh, I've had a chance to speak with them all before, and uh, like so many witnesses uh, tonight, you're all veterans. You've all been here before. You've been you've been delivering this message about what it means to you and your families year after year, and I, I appreciate the uh, commitment. And, uh, and I know you're not giving up, so thank you. Are there any other questions or comments? The next group of